I'm Emily, and today I'm going to be talking about this fireplace behind me. Um, we moved into this house a little over a year ago, and obviously the fireplace was here, but it was really dark. Um, we loved the um, big stone look of the fireplace, but we didn't like how dark it was. So after my husband and I discussed it a little bit, we decided we didn't want to fully paint over the stone. We didn't want a solid white fireplace or a solid gray fireplace. We wanted the natural look of the stone to kind of come through whatever color we went with. And we decided to go with whitewashing, which if you've never done that before, it's just adding a little bit of water to regular white paint and brushing it on like paint. As we started this process, we had a couple of trials before we actually settled on the exact amount of water and how we were gonna brush it on and wipe off the excess. I explained all that throughout the video. Um, but it, there was a little bit of like trial and error and we tried on just like a small side piece of the stone before we settled on what the look that we wanted and then went ahead and painted the rest. And this video will show you all the steps that we took to create this brand new look for our fireplace. And here's the original fireplace. As you can see, all the stone is a dark, deep brown color. And we just wanted to lighten up the room a little bit. We started out adding just one cup of water to the white paint. We didn't do an exact measurement on the white paint. I want to say it's about two cups, um, but we stir it up really well and then we started brushing it on. Um, this first round <clears throat> came out a little darker than we wanted, so we kind of filled this stone here and then grabbed a dry cloth to wipe off kind of the excess color. That wasn't working as well as we had hoped. So we actually dipped the cloth into water um, to wet it down a little bit and then started wiping away the paint again. And this left us with a, a color that we were more satisfied with. It was still a little bit darker um, than we wanted, so we had to scrub it more than we wanted to. So, um, we, when we were done with this stone, we added just a little bit more water gave it another good stir and started the whole process over again. With the first stone, my husband painted the whole stone before he started brushing off the excess color. I did my stone in sections. Uh, once we added the extra water, it became a little bit more drippy. <laughs> So I would brush on just a small amount of paint and then grab my wet rag and dab off all of the excess color and drips that were coming down from the paint. After this stone was done, we decided this was a good look for us. This was the good ratio of water to paint. And we decided to use wet rags to wipe off the excess. And we pretty much had our process down at this point. So we continued over the whole rest of the fireplace in the same pattern. If you can't tell from this shot, I'm about 34 weeks pregnant when we were working on this project. So my husband was kind enough to take most of the bottom stones so I didn't have to crawl around on the floor too much. Um, he also was the one who did all of the top layer stones so that I did not have to get up on a ladder. Um, but together between the two of us this project w went by fairly quickly. If you're paying attention you can see that we are pretty much just painting the actual rock stones. The cement, the grout, I guess, that's holding everything together. We are leaving its natural gray color. We thought that would be a nice contrast against the new, lighter, whiter color of the stone. Mm -hmm. 
overall it was really easy to just brush the paint on and then dab it off with the wet cloth but there definitely were some rocks that had really deep crevices you know nooks and crannies that were hard to get the paint into so you definitely had to kind of push the paintbrush uh, give it a little pressure over those spots and and then your dabbing is kind of a little bit more you know aggressive to get the paint the excess paint out of those nooks and crannies so overall pretty easy but yeah some of the rocks definitely required a little bit more attention And here's a before and after shot. As you can see, we also just painted all the walls of the living room a nice light natural gray and a dark blue on top. Overall, we think it turned out really nice. The mantle stands out a lot more against the um, lighter color. And we think it just blends together with a whole new look of our living room.